You mentioned the cutter earlier on. What do you think is the, has made the cutter more successful than any of your previous stuff? I mean, I personally prefer Back of Love. I think the Back of Love's a classic. It's the best thing we've done, I think. It's like, uh, I've got a sneeze here. Uh, it's like a punk anthem, Back of Love. A mature punk anthem. And the cutter was like, it was a bit more... I thought I think the cut is a bit more vague, you know, it's a bit harder to grasp. But a lot of people grasp it. I think it was the you know, the old violin trick from uh, good middle eight. I don't know what it was, probably uh, the bass. Yeah. And the drums, you know, it's maybe more danceable than other stuff. And uh, there's a lot of hooks in it, you know, there's the spare as the cut, uh, that sort of it's not a hook, but it grabs your attention. Uh, drop in the ocean, all that, and then, am I the happy last? Uh, like, there's a lot of things there that attract attention. Talking about dancing, I mean, do you ever find you're fighting a losing battle against the uh, synthesised dance floor pop? Yeah, because we're going to join them. <laughs> Next single, number one. No danger. <laughs> Synthy pop. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I think there's some really great synthesized dance stuff like Donna Summer's early stuff. She's crap now, except for that last thing. What was it? That was great, but all that woman in love or whatever. Probably crap. Uh, love song by Simple Minds is godlike, I think. And I think that kind of thing. And orchestral maneuvers as well, I like. Not the newest stuff. <laughs> They've gone a bit yeah. mad. Like. Some of the things they did were great. So I don't know, I'm losing out. I think rock's on the up and up, unfortunately, because it means that although we're great rock, all, of, all this other crap's going to come up as well, like U2 and all that dung. <laughs> I haven't used that word for the be youngs. Dung. <laughs> dung bands, that's what's going to surface in England too. It's like five-year-olds writing songs, which is OK, but when, you know, when they become popular. I don't know, I mean, I say this a lot, you know, and then I meet these people and they say, hey, Mark, why'd you slag us off? You know? And they don't realise that it's a joke, even though I mean it. Like, they can slag me off because they know they can't. They can't slag Echo and the Bunnymen off because they look up to us. Who do I like? Simple Minds have got potential, but they just, they don't look right. Jim Kerr once said in an interview that it's all about the look in the eye. And that's why I knew they had something special because of the look in his eyes. And he just looks like a prat. <laughs> I wish he'd realised that he looks like a total prat. Just an okay simple man. But all that prancing around that he does. I don't know. Soft Cell, I like some of their stuff. I think they've written some great songs. But he's a prat as well. Who, I mean, who do you like? You know, you, you've slagged off most bands now and you haven't really told me... Paul are great. Mark Smith is never a prat. He's often like misguided and wrong, but he's never a prat. You know, you don't argue with Mark Smith. And uh, Leonard Cohen, David Bowie. You seem to have a fascination with David Bowie, so I've read. I know, that was when I was younger. Yeah. I did, I loved him when I was 13. Yeah. That's what I wanted to be, David Bowie. But now I don't. Yeah. I want to be Jim Morrison now. You don't want to be in McCulloch? Yeah, I said that. Uh, uh, it was a joke, you know. Yeah, I'm 23 now. I think I am in McCulloch. Wow. Well, get, getting there gradually. He used to be in McCulloch. Yeah, I am in McCulloch. Well, on that note, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Good, though.